Welcome to what we mean to say, the clerical collar. It's the uniform of many, but not all clergy. What is the history of this haberdashery? It traces its history back to a time when clergy wore the same type of clothing as other professionals, especially lawyers and academics. Sometime in the mid 17th century, a type of neckcloth was invented in France called a cravat. In the 18th century, the falling ban became popular among professionals and members of respectable society. And for most of the 18th century, the neck was completely covered by a neckcloth. Lawyers and academics added falling bands when wearing a professional gown. In the early part of the 19th century, two things happened that would change and severely limit the sartorial choices of clergy. Around 1829, the stiff detachable shirt collar replaced the neckcloth, and just a few years later, in 1833, the Oxford Movement began, and with it a change in attitude among clergy who now believed that they should wear clothing that set them apart from everyone else. And voila! In 1869, a Scottish Presbyterian, according to Wikipedia, invented the clerical collar. However, I think it's more accurate to call it a variation of the detachable stiff collar. And like that collar, the clerical collar was made from heavily starched linen. When they first started appearing, they were variously called a backwards collar, which is what it really is, or a dog collar. The tab collar that you see Roman Catholic wearing and, and some Anglicans comes from the fact that when you wore a collar underneath a cassock, all you could see was the front part. Now within Anglicanism, low church clergy, if they wore a collar at all, wore one as wide as possible, which always struck me as counterintuitive. The low churchmen also continued to wear bands, which are now called preaching tabs when they vested for worship. And this brings me to the question everyone, probably no one, is asking, Ben, why do you wear a dickey? And the short answer is, I don't want Carolyn to have all the fun. The long answer is, it's a variation on the cassock rabbi or rabat, which is a sleeveless, backless vest that a collar attaches to that clergy can wear under a cassock. At first, the dickey was used only under the cassock or an alb. My theory is that soon after women were being ordained, the dickey started appearing under blouses and dresses. And that's because clergy shirts had been cut to fit men. The cassock rabbi or the clerical dickey came to the rescue. It allowed women to wear a collar under a blouse. Problem solved. Fast forward to 1993 when Carolyn and I were married. Although vestment makers had been making affordable clergy shirts for women, for women by then, Carolyn wore a dickey because she had a lot of nice, really nice dresses and blouses from her days on Wall Street, and why stop wearing them? And at some point, I thought, why should she have all the fun? She even wore a dickey under a very nice dress that was the exact same color as a bishop's purple shirt. But that's another story. And that is what I mean to say. See you next week.